Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the plants that I have been growing in my green room. Here are the peppers that I planted in my first video. See how good they're doing? Their leaves are nice and bright green. And some of them are starting to get really bushy. The reason they look different is because I have different kind of plants. Now here are some of the tomatoes. See right here, this tomato is starting to get too tall for the lighting. And I'm going to show you in this video what I have to do every day to keep these plants growing nice and strong and healthy. And over here, I have some basil and parsley and celery in the back. I didn't plant too much celery because we don't use it that often, but we use a lot of basil. Okay, whenever I start working in my green room, I go around and raise any lights that need to be raised. Now, whenever you're looking at your plant, the light should be about one to two inches from the top. If the leaves start to touch, they get a sort of sunburn, I call it. It's little yellow spots that form on the leaves. So I just go around and make sure that none of the leaves are touching the lights. Okay, after you make sure all the lights are where they need to be, it's time to water. I always turn off the lights before I water, and then make sure my hose setting is at shower mode. And as I water, I move back the light fixtures and spray across the top. I water about two out of every three days, but it all depends on what kind of soil you have, what's your room temperature, and even what plants you have. So just pay attention to the soil and see what your plants need. Now, you're probably thinking, that's a lot of pepper plants, but they're not just one kind. We have cayenne, we have sweet peppers, we have banana, we have jalapeno, and most of these we will make into homemade salsa. I mean, we make a lot of salsa. But the banana peppers, my Nana makes this amazing banana pepper mustard relish. I know it sounds crazy, but it's actually really good on hot dogs. Okay, now I'm going around the rest of the room and working on the tomatoes. I'm raising any light fixtures that need to be raised and watering them. I know my last two videos were about a sawmill and this one's about plants, so it's a little confusing. But we actually live on a homestead and there's a lot that goes on. So I'm just videotaping things as we do them. And we have learned a lot through the years on YouTube. So I thought we'd give back a little bit. Like, we just got the sawmill not even a year ago. And now we're cutting up our own lumber and doing all kinds of crazy things. So I hope our videos help other people as much as some people's videos helped us through the years. Okay, I just moved the oscillating fan. Now I have two of them in this room. Now the reason I use an oscillating fan is because it's supposed to help simulate wind because in a room, there's not really much air movement, but outside it's always windy or raining. So you just want your plants used to what it's like outside. So I normally rotate them so that every plant gets some wind blown on them. Over the years, I have gotten pretty good at growing plants, at least in my opinion. But there's always so much more to learn. Just last year, I learned the fan trick from a neighbor of mine who grows amazing tomatoes. So if you know any tricks that I didn't mention, please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, you guys. God bless and have a great day. Bye.